Today is a holiday dedicated to inviting people to open up a good book. KTBO's Trey Wiggins spoke with a Northeast Missouri librarian to learn about the benefits of reading and how those who may not be interested can get started. Oh, sorry, I was just catching up on some reading. Now, I have a mile-long reading list, but thankfully, National Read-A-Book Day is a great day to get caught up. According to statistics from Above and Beyond Therapy, only 32% of the U.S. population reads books for pleasure. Especially nowadays, with so many hobbies and forms of media available, fewer people feel inclined to enjoy a good book in their downtime. There's a lot of things that reading can do, and there's so many benefits. It helps you escape from the world when it's kind of hard right now. You know, it helps you learn more about what you love. It helps you encourage your passions. It helps you become even more intelligent. Those who may not like reading are engaging in the activity each day without knowing it. Reading is a lot more than the large time-consuming novels that come to mind. Reading is a magazine. Reading is, you know, a graphic novel, a comic. It can be an audiobook. You know, the thing is, is we don't have to just read big, chunky classics like War and Peace. There is all different forms of reading. If you say that you don't like reading, I think you're saying you don't like big, chunky books. And I think that's a very different thing from saying I don't like reading. National Read-A-Book Day serves as an annual reminder to make time for reading, whether you're catching up on your reading list like me, checking out articles online, or even flipping through a magazine in a waiting room, enjoy celebrating the holiday. At the Adair County Public Library, reporting for KTVO News, I'm Trey Wiggins.